Hi, my name is Billy Chansonbath. I'm the senior quote technician from the sales department. I've been prepping quotes for the last three and a half years. My topic for this video is common applications and units deployed in each scenario. The first common application involves remote sites. This is very generic. Our clients have cell towers, huts, and substations located at remote sites that need monitoring. To determine the unit required, we first need to determine how many contact closures, analog channels, and relay outputs are needed. If there are other equipment that can communicate via serial port, we also need to determine how many of those units will need to be monitored as well. Our current units will come with at least one serial port with support for RS-232 being the most common. To interface to the unit, we also need to determine what form of transport or communication is available at the site. The most common is LAN, but there are occasions where a cellular network is the only form of communication, and that's where the R-cell modem comes into play. In regards to the RTUs we manufacture, we have small units ranging from two discrete inputs, like the NetGuard and LTG2, to large units like the 80 discrete, with 80 discrete inputs like the NetGuard and 480. Most of our units are 1RU and can be mounted in a standard 19 or 23 inch rack using mountaineers. We also have a NetGuardian DIN that can be DIN rear mounted, hence the name. The second most common application is for our building access system. Clients would like to control entry access using our entry control units or ECU. We have a G3, G4, and LAN variation available. The, the, the G3 and G4 must be connected to a NetGuardian 832A G5 unit or a G4 unit running special firmware. The ECU LAN can be connected directly to your LAN network, again, hence the name. When installing the ECU, it's one unit per door with a door sensor, door strike, keypad and or, or proxy reader, and proxy card and or key fob. The motion detector and push the exit button is optional. By deploying the solution, the client will know when the door has been opened, who entered, and when if that person is using a proxy card or key fob per, for entry. If the door is broken into, you will be notified as well. This information can be found on the ECU's event log when logged into the web interface. The third common application is using our trap relay for the fire department. They have a distributed alarm system, or DAS, that outputs SNMP. They need to feed this into their fire panel, which only accepts contact closures. With the trap relay, they'll send SNMP via LAN directly to the trap relay. The trap relay then converts SNMP to contact closures via relay output that can tie into the fire panel. The trap relay 32 and 64 are our most common units. We also have smaller variations like the trap relay 4 and trap relay 8 available as well. The three common applications just mentioned above of all are RTUs. If more than 10 units are being monitored, we recommend considering the team on a network management system and master station. GPS currently has three sizes available, the Mini, the Slim, and the LNX, depending on how many units they need to monitor. Our NMSs support various protocols like SNMP, Modbus, and ASCII, to name a few. This saves time by having a technician log into one screen to view your entire network, versus having to individually log onto each RTU to accomplish the same task. In addition, Status reports can be generated as well. For more information on our RTUs or master station, please contact 1-800-693-0351 or send an email to sales at dpstele.net.